Hello, welcome to SS Unitex so see this side and today we are going to see about the Cache Lookup. So in the last video we have seen about the Cache Sync and the Cache Dataset. So if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward because all these videos are in sequence. So it would be great if you can watch in sequence. So what is Cache Lookup? So a Cache Lookup allow you to do an inline lookup of the output of the cached sync. There are two functions available to use on each sync lookup and outputs. So these two functions can be used. For the output we have already used in the last video. In this video we are going to use the lookup function. So let me go in the browser and we'll try to understand the requirement. So our requirement is we want to send the data into some customer and here we have the data like sales order id sales order date customer id quantity value and country but customer id value is not as much clear for that person so what we have to do we have to add the customer name as well and the customer name information is available on the azure blob storage in one of the file that is the customer details.csv file so what we are required to do we need to do the lookup based on the customer id from this location that is database to the azure blob storage and after that we'll be sending that file and that file will be loading into the output folder of the azure blob storage so first what we need to do we need to keep this customer details.csv file as a sync in the output of the data flow and after that from there we will be going to use with the source so let me go into the Azure data factory and here let me try to add a new data flow and this data flow let me call like data flow cache lookup. Now as I told you first we are required to put the customer file into the sync and the sync that will be the cache sync. So let me try to add the source as we have already created the data set for this source so we need to select that that is data set customer let me try to open and verify so here it is referring the input folder and here the customer details.csv file similarly we can also see customer.csv file under this input folder let me go into the data preview and try to refresh so we will see all the data which is available in this table in between let me try to add a sync and that sync will be your cache sync so as we could see we have all the data here so we want to keep this data into the sync as cache spark so here we can see the cache so let me try to select this cache once we have selected the cache then other options which were displaying below has been disappeared now let me go in the setting so in the settings we are required to select the list of columns or the custom expression so this is the key column by which we want to do the lookup so in our case that column is the customer id that we have seen here so let me try to go and select the customer id here so we can click and select the customer id now we can go into the data preview and try to refresh so we will see all the data so now data should be here inside the cache sync so as we can see now will do the actual requirement get the data from this database and loading into the output folder of the azure blog stories so let me add the source for this we have already created the data set so we have to select that one let me go into the data preview and try to refresh so we will see the data so here as we could see we have all this data now let me try to click on this plus symbol and next what we need to do we are required to add one more column and that column will be the customer name so we have to use the derived column transformation so under this derived column transformation here we are required to add a new column and that column is the customer name so we have select this customer name now here under this expression let me try to click on this so here we need to write the expression to get the customer name so for that first we need to get it by using the customer id from the cache sync 
so here we can see the cache lookup under this expression elements so let me select this here the sync one we can select remember in the last video we have used the outputs but here we are getting the value by using the lookup so we have to use the lookup and lookup is the based on the customer id so we can use the customer id now let me try to refresh so we will see the data of this so here as we could see we are getting the data but before that we are getting this another column and this column is indicating the value for the customer id so we don't want to keep this value we just want to get the second column which is the customer name so we have to use the dot and after that let me use the customer name now let me try to refresh this so this time we will be going to get only the customer names that you can see here this time we have only a single column and the value which is the customer names only now let me try to save and finish so we have done with the lookup of this let me try to put this into the output folder of the sync location so here we did not created the data set so let me try to use the inline instead of the actual physical data set the type we want to keep this as in delimited text file here let me select the link service and after that let me go into the setting and here let me try to select the path by which we want to keep the file so that is the output path let me click on ok first row as header and the file name we want to keep the file name as sales by customer dot csv go to the data preview and try to refresh so we will see the data so this data will be going to load into the output folder so any person can access this data as we can see here we have the customer names as well let me try to publish this so here the problem like we need to select if you have remember we had to go into the optimize and need to select the single partition now let me try to publish this again and in between let me go and try to add a new pipeline to execute this data flow so here we have to use the data flow activity so publish is completed so let me try to use that data flow so which is the data flow lookup that is the cache one now let me try to debug it so go to the output folder and in the output folder here we can see the file so let me try to open and we will verify the data as well so this file will be having all the data from the sql table and the last column the, the customer name we can see so we have used this by using the cache lookup so i hope guys you have the better understanding on the cache sync and the cache lookup thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video